Both of these are portable interfaces made for guitar. Now, they can both connect to your computers, they can both connect to iPhones and iPads. Now, one of them has better compatibility with some iPads and iPhones, and we're going to look at that in a bit. And we're also going to check out what are the differences between the iRig HDX and the new iRig USB and we'll find out what one might be best for you. So the first difference, we'll get it right out of the way and that's price. So the iRig USB is $69 where the iRig HDX is $129. So it's almost twice the amount of money, but that might make sense for some people and you'll see why in this next difference. So the iRig USB it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable, and it's going to connect to your computers through that. You can also put one of those USB-C to USB-3 little dongles on there and use it that way. I've tried it, it works, but it's not going to work with a USB-C to lightning cable, which means you're not going to be connecting it to older iPads and older iPhones that have the lightning port on it. You can connect to those if you have the certified Apple camera kit, but that costs extra money, which means you might want to spend the extra money to get this guy here because it's going to connect to your computers with the USB-C cable, and it also comes with the USB-C to lightning cable, and that's not the reason why this won't connect to the other ones. It's not because it doesn't come with that cable. It doesn't come with that cable because it's not compatible with that. But this one is compatible. It's going to connect to older iPads, older iPhones, newer iPads, newer iPhones, and your computers as well. So much more compatibility with the iRig HDX. Let's look at the next difference, and that's going to be in the audio quality. So both of these will record at 24-bit. The iRig USB will record at 24-bit up to 48 kilohertz sample rate, whereas the iRig HDX can record 24-bit up to 96 kilohertz sample rate. Now, there's nothing wrong with either of these. The iRig USB is like DVD quality, so it's still high quality, but if you want the top quality, that's going to be the iRig HDX. So if you're someone that's using this for more than practice and you're going to take your recording a little more serious, you're probably going to want the HDX. Now let's look at something that the iRig USB just does not have, and that's a built-in tuner. So if we press and hold this button down for a couple of seconds, it's going to put it in tuner mode. And then the little LED lights around the side, those are going to represent the strings. And then the ones along the top here, they're going to show you if you need to go up or down, whatever way you need to tune it. Once you see the actual layout of it, it does make a lot more sense. Now, another thing that the iRig HDX has that the USB just does not is Loop Back Plus. So with that feature, you can have this connected to your iPad or your iPhone, and you can dial in your sound through whatever amp app you're going to be using. It could be Amplitude, Tonex, whatever it is, you dial in that sound. Now, say you want to stream to an audience, maybe it's family, maybe it's friends, maybe it's fans, but you want to stream that sound through the same iPad that you're on to your audience through whatever app it is you use, you can put it in loop back plus mode, and then you can put the amp app in the background and you can open up your streaming app and set the input to this, and the people are going to hear what you're playing through that app. On the same device, it's pretty easy to do. You just press this button till you get to loop back mode, which is at the end, and then you turn it this way and it turns it on. Really easy to do. And I know that feature is not going to be for everyone, but if it's something that you think you'll find useful, definitely get the HDX. Both of these devices approach your input gain differently. They both have this knob on the front, but only the iRig USB uses this one knob to control the input gain. So when you connect your guitar and you need to turn it up, you can use that knob to crank it up. Now with the iRig HDX, this knob controls your headphone volume. And you push it again and it controls something else. You keep pushing it, it's controlling other things and not the input gain. To control the input gain with the iRig HDX, you have to go into the app or into your software and turn the gain up in there. It's really easy to do on an iPad. You just kind of move your finger across and you turn the gain up. It's not that big of a deal, but if you like this simple workflow of just turning this knob to turn it up, 
then maybe go with the iRig USB. On the bottom here, you can see you can plug your guitar into this side, and then there's another symbol for an amp. So you can have an output go into your amp. And with that, you can record directly into your software, and that's going to record just basically a DI'd signal. It's going to be dry, and the only sound that it has is whatever amp sim you put on it. And this signal goes to your amp, so you can choose to record your amp and that DI'd signal at the same time, or you can just listen to your amp while you're playing it, or you could use that to go out to a PA system or something like that. So that can be useful. Now, both of these have a feature called effects through. Now, if you've dialed in a sound on your iPad, iPhone, or on your computer, and you wanna send that sound out to a guitar amp or to a PA system, on the iRig USB, you just flick this switch down, you put it in effects through mode, and it's going to send that affected sound to whatever device you connect it to. On this one, you just have to press this until it goes to the last little LED there. You turn it the one way, it's going to turn it on. If you want that feature off, you turn it the other way and it turns it off. So they both have the feature, they just approach how you use it a little differently. Now let's take a look at the HDX again. With this one, you can use direct monitoring. And that's where you can have your headphones connected and you're going to listen to your guitar connected direct. So before it goes out to the computer, you're just going to hear that dry sound of your guitar connected directly to this. And that's great for very low latency monitoring, or maybe you just wanna hear that dry sound for whatever reason, and you can easily turn that on and off by using this control on the front here. The iRig USB does not have that feature. Now let's talk about bundled software. Now I think they both come with the same bundle, which is Tonex SE and Amplitube SE on both the computer version and your iPad or iPhone version, the iOS version anyway. I'm pretty sure they both come with it. So which one might be best for you? Could be the iRig USB. You might want just a very simple interface that you could connect to your iPad or iPhone or your computer, and you just want something you can turn up, plug in, and play. I get asked that question all the time. Is there something that I can just connect, plug in, and play? This is that thing. It's going to help a lot of people who aren't tech savvy and they just want to play their guitar through their computer or their iPad. This is it. It's still going to give you DVD quality audio, which is very high quality audio. And for practicing and for some light recording, there's no problem with the iRig USB. Now, if you're a musician that's going to take things a little more seriously, you're going to be recording a lot more and you're going to be maybe delivering that to clients or bandmates. And it's something that you're taking more seriously or you just want the best quality sound in live performance or while you practice, then the iRig HDX might be for you. Also, if you have an older iPad or older iPhone and you don't have that camera kit, then you might want to go with this one because it's going to work out of the box and you don't have to spend that extra money on the camera kit. No matter which one you decide to go with, they're both excellent quality guitar interfaces and you can use these with other amp sims as well, not just Amplitube or Tonex. And if you want to check out 10 of the best free ones, you can click right here. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.